have a few questions. talking about you you're with the other one aren't you the hooded man tell me about this other one who is he i don't know i never saw his face ah! he threatened to kill me if i didn't give him the poison i didn't ask questions ah! i keep only a small quantity in stock he took that straight away but he told me where to drop off the second dose second dose Go on then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Charming place. What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that. The trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. Took you long enough, piss pot. Balak. Should have known it'd be you to find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars. He's a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power? No. Masyaf, Montericcioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now... We've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, making peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the planet. We can. Together. Alec, you know I can't do that. That's a pity. Alec, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with Templars, boy. Shut up. 
Rusty. I had hopes for you. I thought you could think for yourself. I can, Jalek. I just don't think like you. Open your eyes, boy! I've seen Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. But tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Oh no! I'm fine. Stay there. I should have left you to rot in the Bastille! Tell me, did you ever really believe in the Creed? Or were you a Templar loving traitor from the start? It doesn't have to be this way, Belek. You're the one who's making it so! If you just see sense, we could take the brother into a height we've not seen in 200 years! Yes, killing everyone who disagrees with you is a brilliant way to start your rise from the ashes. Look out! So, now we see the heart of it. It's not Mirabeau that's poisoned your mind, it's her. She's the last piece of this god-fucked lunacy. Alec, you'll thank me for this. One day. Thank you, my friend. Better get you back to that boy here in one piece. No one piss pot. Drop this. Well, I'll be damned. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thank you. Jin. Jin. Oh, you don't say. Okay, the bridge is open. 
Go! You can't snoop around the circle with people's data, which will ruffle a few feathers, right? Well, we didn't just snoop, did we? We stole their data, destroyed their precursor samples, and, uh, what else? Oh yeah, we melted a few of their servers. That'll do it. on the other side. Oh, here we go again. Back inside a mess of broken code. This time, the portal is above you, a few hundred meters. memories are way too dangerous. You need to find a way out. I'll guide you as best I can. I don't want to alarm you, but the portal is highly unstable. Damn it, it's gone. Keep going, we can reopen it. That should do it, you'll have to jump. these transfers to a minimum, okay? Hey, come off it. That's entirely up to your initiate, my friend. I'm not the one leaving so many digital footprints around Paris. You might confuse them for tiny dog pats. Noted. We'll call you if we need you. You summoned? Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. 
More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? It's none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the king. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. Ready? Aim! Thirsty rioters these days. Search everywhere. The captain wants those papers. Papa. Huh. You certainly don't look like a blood crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. You were saying? Very nicely done, my friend.
Adam. Find your prize. A cornucopia, yes. And you? I believe so. Yes. This is it. That should take care of that. May I suggest we leave? Quickly. What is that? Our way out. Now cover me, would you? Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours. A persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm not much for following orders. Ah. The bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. A generous offer, but no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. Bonaparte is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery. For now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. Face in the crowd, of course. What now? Just a moment. You may want to take cover. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison. The man redefines the term friends in high places. Untouchable. But you know where I can find him. 
Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Their weapons. Nobody try anything. Thank you. You can thank me by getting to the walls and stopping these killings. Oui, monsieur. Fucking hell. What a mess. What are we oh, doing with yeah. the bodies? We'll oh, be dead uh, soon enough. Leave them. What are you waiting for? More traitors than... Fast men! Cut them down! Protect the prisoners! Death to the traitors! Beat them back! Vive la Révolution! Steady! Into the bridge! Hold that line! Kill them all!
if you don't want it, I suppose. I suppose it would make a fine souvenir. I lost the ball. from this hall. You must also get authority to use force, for we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? I need to look so low. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. I told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Three. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Ooh. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now. Why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised. She's thrown in. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hotel de Ville docks. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Tie up the fallen! Captain! Any problems? No, Madame. You have your orders? Here, Madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh, yes, madame. Get to work!
peut-être un agent d'un des comités. Palais Luxembourg. Hmm. What are you up to there? You were right. Marie Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais du Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been holding food in a time of famine. Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Remember what I told you, Marie. Oui, Mama. Francois Thomas Germain. 
for your crimes against the Templar order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Oh, the thing speaks to me. No, it's mine, did I say it? Did I say it? Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur de Peltier. Of course, Grand Master. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. What? No time to explain! Run! Will we be taking a ride this evening, Professor? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my... <laughs> Into the river, 
They might actually be trying to hit me. What did you do back there? It's a long story. I really should talk to Napoleon about this. to dash. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime. It is. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. The Marquis is on the National Convention for the Persie. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius. No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... Desad. Mm -hmm. Le Pelletier. 
Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Point delivery to the palace. Look at it on, Clark. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Lapella J will have yes, my head. This may come in handy. Hey! What are you afraid of? I've only ever killed a few hundred pellets! Yeah, kill us! Because I need to hit you up on a lamppost! Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? Monsieur hates a drafty room. Would this persuade you? Oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right.
find your nurse and tell her to take you home. I'll be along soon. King must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can you show the world how to play his great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of the tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Are you sure Jamal will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. For all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Kings, really a symbol. A symbol can inspire fear, and fear can inspire control, but men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This is the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown of church are ground to dust. You control the gold will decide the future. Is it Roger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Get him! 